it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of Spygen, Spygen, whatever you want to call it, Spigen cases. And I've been using them almost, I want to say for close to six, seven years on every single phone I've had. But this is one of the first phones I actually really haven't bought a Spygen case for. And that's because I really like MagSafe. And I've gotten used to it and I, I wanted a case with MagSafe. So when the Il 12 Pro Max came out, there really weren't any Spygen magnetic cases. So I just stuck to the uh, Apple original leather case and the silicone one, as you guys might've seen videos on. And that's what I've been using. So, you know, the MagSafe adapter just really latches on there and it's, uh, it's a pretty convenient method of charging. Now, what I finally got my hands on is the Spygen mag armor magsafe uh accessible case and spygen actually isn't new to the magnet game so if uh you guys remember spygen used to make these and a lot of other companies did as well these are little magnets that you could stick inside the back of your case and then you could use you know those uh, magnetic mounts that you could put into your air vents or something and i've i've used these for years now and i recently just stopped because i started using wireless charging and uh, the magnetic things interfere with them but I am just very excited for Spygen to once again bring in an inbuilt magnet into their case. So let's see what this case exactly looks like. And uh, I actually didn't look into this too much. I just knew it was for the 12 Pro Max and I ordered it. That's it. And I knew it was MagSafe compatible. So uh, here it is. All right. Very cool. So right off the bat, I can see that this is a very uh, similar case to the, um, almost. I think they used to call it the Liquid Air. I'm not sure if that was the name, but... Uh, this is a pretty sturdy case, and it's a really, uh, it's not that heavy actually, it's, it's a pretty lightweight case, but it does cover the phone entirely, uh, it's a pretty good case. Let me just give you guys a close up of what the material looks like here. So it's got this kind of textured design, it is fully plastic, so you know, it's not as premium feeling as the Apple silicone or the Apple leather or even a, a, a few other uh, spy gen cases, but this one really, I think, um, is a perfect balance of weight protection and the MagSafe feature as well. So let me uh, grab my 12 Pro Max and pull it out of this case. Let's put it in here and see what it's like. So, so right off the bat, let me tell you, this feels way lighter than the uh, leather case and it feels way smaller as well. So here, this is what the case looks like when it's in the phone. Uh, I'm sorry, on the phone, not in the phone. And you guys can see there is a raised lip there for the uh, camera, which is going to stick out and protrude further than the camera itself. So uh, if you do put it flat down onto a table, you don't have to worry about it getting uh, scratched or damaged. And the same way on the front, uh, there is a considerably raised lip, so much so that I think that even with a tempered glass screen protector, you'll still have a little bit of space there to uh, protect your uh, screen. So. Uh, a really nice case and you guys can see it's pretty tight really no no f movement nothing this is a really uh well thought out case i think you know just the way it looks and the way it feels it's light but it does seem to have full protection so let's try out the magnetic power that's the most important thing let's see how well it works so yeah no fuss it works just like the apple case and i want to say it has about just as much um let's see so uh, definitely not as much clamping force as the uh, Apple case does. So let me just show you what the Apple case was. So, uh, you know, it, it definitely won't come through on video. You know, force just won't. But the Apple case is just a tiny, I want to say like 10 or 15% more stronger uh, the way it holds. But this is, uh, you know, it actually could be this texture as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's just this plastic, smooth plastic could be really the reason why it's not uh, latching on as well. But uh, the magnet definitely latches on and you won't have a worry. You can look, I'm dangling it from the uh, case itself and really there's no issue there. Let me see how, okay, so that will do it. But uh, just having it on here like this, not really a big deal. So uh, it won't come off on its own. You definitely are gonna have to pull it off yourself, but the clamping force uh, is a little bit reduced here because of that MagSafe. So I do have the Pacific Blue uh, phone. So this is what it looks like. Uh, this black looks like with the Pacific Blue. Uh, really a clean design. I will say though, as you guys can see, this plastic is already picking up small remnants of dust and dirt. So I think this will have a little bit of trouble when it ages. It won't age very well. But considering that this is about 20 bucks compared to the $60 that 
uh, the MagSafe leather case costs in the $50, I believe, that the silicone one costs, uh, it becomes a much easier choice to make because this also is, uh, it doesn't feel as bulky as this, this one does. And I think that this alone really makes the phone feel a lot more comfortable in the hand. Uh, it, it, the grip is good, so that's another thing. So the sides aren't the exact same texture as the uh, back. So th that's the back, you guys can see. And the sides are a more smooth texture, but the grip is good. The buttons do have cutouts, so this is what the buttons look like. And there is a, just a complete cutout for the uh, mute switch right there. And then two raised rubber switches for the buttons as well. So overall, a pretty decent case. It does a pretty uh, good job of the coverage and it does have spy gins, you know, that air cushion technology. So drop protection will be pretty good too. So all in all, I think that this is a really good case. So if you're in the market for a MagSafe case and aren't particularly interested in spending like 50, 60 bucks, this is a great option, give you great protection. And I think a main benefit of this is that it is a lot less bulky than the Apple leather cases. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think of the SpyGen Mag Armor MagSafe case. I'm really liking it and I'm excited to try out more MagSafe cases from SpyGen and other brands as well. So if you have any other brands that you use, the MagSafe cases, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to check a few other ones out and see how they compare to each other. And if you want to check this case out, I do have a link to it down uh, in the description as well. Uh, so if you want to check this case out or the leather case that I'm using, uh, I'll have all of them linked down in the description below so you guys can see what they're about. And I think there is one more design. I'm not exactly sure if there is, but if there is, I will link that as well. So be sure to check that out down in the description. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media as well. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen. And of course, down in the description below for more behind the scenes of filming and just all these cool new products. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh